hepatitis as a term is actually a very broad term. It just means inflammation of the liver. So, and that inflammation can, can come from a number of causes. And the main topic we're gonna talk about today is viral hepatitis, which means it's hepatitis or inflammation of the liver that comes from viruses. And there are a number of viruses that tend to kind of gravitate towards the liver and attack the liver. And uh, the main ones are hepatitis A, B, and C. So two of those, hepatitis B and C, can lead to chronic inflammation. And over time, they can lead to uh, cirrhosis, which is like scarring of the liver, or liver cancer. And so that's what we worry about the most, is that over time, the insults that the liver is undergoing is kind of like how you, if you scratch your skin over and over or scrape up your skin over time, it develops scarring. So hep B and hep C uh, are both infections that can actually last a lifetime. Um, and so our goal, one, is to prevent. Uh, two, if you have hep B or hep C, is to get people care and treatment and also to do surveillance um, in terms of screening people for cirrhosis or liver cancer. So it's a whole continuum of care. Um, and the first step is what we tell people is like to get screened, get tested. Find out if you have either of these conditions. And if you don't have hep B at least, you can get vaccinated. Um, so if you uh, get the test and you find out you don't have the infection, but you also don't have the antibodies, then it's really important to get testing. So the interesting thing and the amazing thing is that we do have a very effective hepatitis B vaccine. And since 1991, all children are now vaccinated for hep B as part of the routine infant vaccine schedule. Of course, a number of us were born before 1991 and never got vaccinated. And we found that there's a huge gap in terms of adults being protected for hepatitis B. So just a couple years ago, CDC has now recommended all adults get vaccinated for hepatitis B. So if you don't think you've gotten it, the perfect time to ask your doctor uh, to get to get vaccinated for hepatitis B. And then the other big update is that CDC has now recommended universal testing for both hep B and hep C. It used to be that we would only test people if they fell into what we called risk categories. So for hep C, that was people who were born between 1945 to 1965, what we call the baby boomers, because over 50% of the people with hep C in the US were born in that age range. But now we're actually seeing a younger peak of people with hepatitis B in the 20s and 30s, um, largely driven by the opioid epidemic. And so now it's actually, the recommendation is that all adults, no matter what your risk factor is, you should get at least a one-time test for hepatitis C. And as of just this year, CDC has also done the risk calculations to say this is also um, really important for the general population for hepatitis B as well, um, not to do any kind of risk assessment, but that everybody should know their status with a one-time hepatitis B test. So perfect if you're due for your preventative health uh, checkup with your doctor, go ahead and ask, have I been tested for these before? If not, it's very reasonable um, to get checked for both of them.